Hello everyone, hello. This year is dedicated to Ili Nishmas, Rochaleya Bas, Reb Chaim Tzvi. We're learning the Sefer Avas Chesed, we're in the Halacha section, Chelok Aleph of the Sefer, and we've begun Perak Shmini, the 8th chapter, discussing uh, returning a collateral, returning a security. Ruvain lends money to Shimon, so Ruvain takes some sort of security from Shimon, which will, he'll keep to ensure that Shimon repays the loan. So the Torah has a lot of rules and regulations about how Ruvain has to deal with that security, with that avot. That, that's the term the Torah uses, avot. Hashavas ha'avot. So we already did halacha aleph. We'll briefly review halacha aleph, and then we'll see if aleph, and then we'll continue to the, the rest of the parak. So the basic halacha is that if Ruvain, the lender, takes security from Shimo, and let's say he takes uh, his night clothes, pajamas, let's say. And that's all Shimon has. But he needs that when he goes to sleep at night. So the halacha is that Ruvain has to return that security to Shimon when he needs it at night. And that's a mitzvah saseh in the Torah. A mitzvah saseh hashev tashiv go. It's a mitzvah saseh in the Torah. And tevarim perakav dalad. And, and also, if Ruvain does not return those night clothes, and he keeps them the whole night, we'll discuss the details Bezos Hashem during the class, then he not only does he not fulfill the mitzvah saseh, he also violates a lav, a lav in the Torah, lo tishkav ba'avoto, that Ruvain shouldn't go to sleep and sleep through the night holding on to this security that Shimon needs. Similarly, if it's a a daytime article that Shimon needs, Let's say it's Shimon has uh, one shirt that he wears during the day. That's all he has. And you take that shirt as a security. So you have to return it to him by the morning. And every night you'll take it back to be your, your collateral, your security. Ruvain is the lender. And he returns it to Shimon in the morning. So the Chavetz Chaim uh, asked, well, well, so what's the point then? If you're always returning the security every night, every morning, what's the point of how does it work as collateral? What function is it, is it serving? So he mentioned... He mentioned uh, uh, three points. Number one, it's a little embarrassing for the, for the borrower every day to, to have it taken and returned, taken and returned. So hopefully, still, the borrower is going to be uh, motivated to, to pay off the loan that he has to pay off. So even though this is not the standard way, you know, we work with collateral that you give it back all the time, but still, this will, this will serve a function of hopefully encouraging the borrower to repay the loan. Number two, the Chavetz Chaim quotes from the Gemara that this, that having the security, even though you're giving it back every night or every morning, will cause that the loan is not abrogated during Shemitah. During during the Shemitah, Shemitah not only means during the Shemitah you don't not, not only do you not work the land, but at the end of the Shemitah year, any loans, any loans that are that a person has are uh, annulled. The, no, the, the loans are the loans are gone. That's part of Shemitah. Shemitah Ksafin. So Ruvain lends money to Shimon. When the Shemitah year ends, the loan is gone. But the halacha is that if it's a loan that has a mashkom, if, it a loan that, if it's a loan that has collateral, then Shemitah does not annul the loan and the loan remains. So having this collateral, even though it's not the standard way you would use collateral, but since the loan has collateral, it has a mashkom, the, the loan is not uh, meshamet and the loan remains. And the third point, the Chavetz Chaim says, is that there's a halacha that let's say the borrower, uh, the borrower dies. So if the borrower dies, so then his children have to pay back the loan. So the halacha is that, that if it, in an ordinary loan, in an ordinary loan, so the children's metaltalin are not meshuba to pay back the loan. If the borrower dies, then if he has land, so the lender can collect from the borrower's land. But if the borrower doesn't have land, he only has metaltalin, he has kalium in the house, things in the house that, that you move around, that you use, metaltalin, so those, the loan, a loan from the father, if the father dies, are not collected from the metaltalin of the children, of the orphans. However, the Gemara says, that if there's a mashkon on the loan, if there's collateral on the loan, that type of loan is different, and you're allowed to collect from the metaltalin as well. 
So these are three reasons why a, a person, that the function of this collateral, of this mashkon, even though it's not your standard mashkon, but still these are the three things that the lender, in a sense, gains from doing it this way. Then the Chavetz Chaim continues that there's, that there's a halacha, that when the lender returns the mashkon every night, let's say he returns the, the night clothes or the, the bedding or the pillow every night, then the borrower is supposed to give him a bracha. It's a mitzvah she'i v'rachanu. It says, v'shacha v'salmasu uvei rachecha. And the borrower is supposed to give you a bracha to the, to the lender. And, and, the, chavetz, and the, the svarim say that even if, even if the lender, does, even if the borrower does not give the bracha, Hashem gives the bracha, Hashem gives the bracha himself. Oh, they quote here from the Sefer, 